Come, look at me. Smile. You are beautiful, Susie Salmon. I was 14 years old when I was murdered. You're the Salmon Girl, right? On December 6, 1973. I read the book and found it very affecting and um, I thought it would make a, a fantastic movie. It's a story of a family that's trying to deal with the loss of their child and the child who is trying to break away from the family but is in kind of an in-between place. When she was <laughs> kidnapped and murdered and the story's really a, from, partly from her point of view in heaven as she watches the aftermath and the effects of her disappearance on her family and on the town. We didn't find her, Mrs. Salmon. I'm very sorry. Well, I play Susie Salmon, and um, the story is centred around her murder and everything that comes after, pretty much. It's a very beautiful story, and although this horrible thing happens to this young girl, something beautiful comes out of it. Grandma, Susie's in the in-between. Saoirse, she's ferociously intelligent and mature, and, um, I, you know, she's a natural, absolutely natural. She has a, both an innocence and a wisdom. I think she really has the gift that she can embody those qualities at such a young age. Dad, she's dead, isn't she? I think everybody wonders what is going to happen after you die. I mean, it's one of those universal questions that, that humanity has to deal with. This tragedy happens, and there can be some beautiful things that are found in it, and people, you know, can still pull together and find something to look back on and smile about, you know? She's gone. What if she isn't? What if she's still here? The book confronts that question in a very um, uncompromising way. It says that there's life after, after you die and that it's okay and it's safe and secure and that's very much the journey that Susie takes. I wasn't gone. I was alive in my own perfect world. Uh, hopefully Prince Charles can do something about the weather. I don't know what the extent of his powers is, but hopefully it includes the rain. It's exciting, first of all, just to come to London, let alone have a royal premiere. It's an honour. I mean, I've been told it's very rare, so, um, and it's a very, very special thing for a film to be chosen. I like the fact they've chosen that. It's something different. It's risky as well. You're a salmon girl, right? Well, I think it's important for films to challenge it. I've got a name for you. This is police work. This is what we do. I waited for justice, but justice did not come. It has, you know, themes and messages which hopefully are, are touching, but I, I just want to make an entertaining movie and give people a good night at the, at the pictures. My father had the pieces, but he couldn't make them fit. Can't you just leave it alone? I know it's you. Come on, face me. 